so on my own time. Uh, so quick thing before the video, flash warning. There are flashing lights later in the video. You will see those. So if you are like prone to seizures because of flashing lights, do not proceed. Uh, but um, yeah. Nt Nt on the track. Nisheth. Red Party C. He's a friend of mine. We've collabed on a lot of stuff, you know, we've uh, done a lot of stuff together. I've done features with him, we've collabed a lot. He produced a, a lot of my album. He also had a feature on there. And speaking of my album, he also made a review of my album. I'll link it in the description. But I got a lot of insight from it, and he really was really honest, and I really appreciate that review. It actually gave me a lot of insight onto what I could improve. And he released an EP today out on my own. I figure it's only fair if I return the favor. So this is going to be a review of NT's new EP. Just know I am his friend, so take this review with a grain of salt. But yeah, let's do this thing. Yeah. You gon' make me drown. Same as ship, you the iceberg cracks around. Ship was the only single from the project and when it dropped it was like um NC's best song and it wasn't exactly close uh on the ep however it is probably ranked um like my second to least second least favorite you'll see what my least favorite is later but yeah in my opinion this is still a pretty strong track the hook is really catchy has really clean vocals and really nice melodies and um the lyrics mainly consist of stuff about a failing relationship who made me try Sit my shape the iceberg cracks around Throw all the lightsabers into the crowd Put me in the dirt like who's gonna save me now Some of the lyrics may be a bit generic And that Mattel line, I will never forgive NT about that Mattel line uh, the hook may be the best part of the song, but the verses are pretty strong. The flows are pretty nice, however, some of the melodies may seem a bit off, but it's very rare when that happens. Uh, it also has a really cool bridge with really weirded out vocals that have like a lot of reverb on them and a ton of effects, which goes into the second hook, which I think is really cool. I don't really have any complaints about this song, so yeah, no, that's pretty much it for Sink and Ship. A uh, pretty good song, probably my second least favorite, but yeah, moving on. I ain't sleep for like three days, my memory hazy Went for a reply on snap, but that don't come by lately We're talking shit, gotta tell him this song, man, not enough is crazy, bro. Um, this is the best song on the EP. It's not exactly close. Well, well, it's a very strong EP. Not enough is the best song, okay? The hook on the song is very good. It's really catchy. Has nice melodies. Good, li good lyrics. <laughs> I ain't sleep for like three days, my memory hazy. And the flutes and the guitars and the beat. Oh my god, bro. Shit. Nah, I should not have done that. And the 808s and the kicks and the beat are also really cool. And, um, NT has his style with his kicks. He also dumps these in my beats, the ones that he gives to me. Where the kicks and the 808s are super hard and I love that so much. And the way he works with the beats really well. His vocals are really clean. And um, his flows are pretty nice too. The lyrics were pretty nice. The, the verse is one of, if not the best verses on the project. The, everything that he does with this beat really adds to the vibe and it makes it a really enjoyable trap banger. I have nothing but compliments for this song, but if I keep going, I'll be here till 2027. So yeah, that's it. Uh, best song in the EP. I'm just out of my own. This song is the title track on the EP and it's probably my second favorite. The uh, intro vocals with the delays and all the reverb really works really well and introduces the track really nicely. And once again, NT on the guitar beats be going nuts, bro. <laughs> the vocals on the song are also once again really clean. Um, the hook is also pretty nice. However, one thing I would say about it is that I would vary up the words a little bit more. He is just repeating out on my own for like four bars but it does sound nice, so it doesn't really bother me much. The flows on the verse here are also pretty simple. However, the way that NT works with it, I think he makes it works out really well. Again, the lyrics in this song are about a failing relationship, and NT actually has some really good and hard-hitting lines with a good bit of imagery in some of them. Lastly, this is one of the songs on the EP where NT makes an instru adds an instrumental outro to the end of the track, and oh my god, this man's production is so insane. <laughs> The, 
the way that NT worked with synths on this is really nuts, and it really adds to the song and concludes it well. But yeah, those are my thoughts on Out of My Own, the song, not the EP. I used to have two pennies on a drive. My GPS keep telling me I'm not right. It had to have life. This is a bit of a hot take with my friends, but By Your Side is probably my least favorite song on the EP. I really like the really deep synths that open up the track and it makes it seem really grand. However, the way that it kind of awkwardly transitions into a trap beat kind of seems a bit underwhelming, especially for how grand the synths sounded. Apart from that, I think NT works with the beat really well and has some really good lines. The hook is really good and the way that NT works with the beat, it, it really adds to the vibe of the track and I really enjoy it. There is a rap verse on the song and although it isn't inherently bad, it does seem kind of out of place on this uh, EP. It, like I said, it isn't necessarily a bad verse, it just kind of doesn't fit in, but it is a pretty nice verse. But from here, this the, the song just keeps getting better and better. After this, you get the hook, which has the deep synths in the back, and you have some layered vocals, and it sounds really grand and insane, I really like it. And then we get another outro, uh, instrumental outro from NT, and this might be the best production I've ever heard from this man. the synths, the backing vocals, it all builds up so well and it's just so great and then it ends out with like a pretty nice trap outro, it transitions well and then at the end it kind of slows down and glitches out uh, and he adds some effects, pitches his vocals for the end. I think it's really good. There's also um, a bit of vocal panning on those glitched out vocals and I think it adds to the effect. But yeah, that's it for By Your Side. Give me the way that you do or you was falling apart Dreaming of being in your arms This song is absolutely transcendent. The beat is so insane. NT's vocals are great. The, this is just an overall great song. The drums are pretty nice and this song actually features probably my favorite vocals from NT on the project. The opening verse does have some rather generic lines and he did reuse the uh, get put under your spell thing from Sink and Ship. However, I think it kind of ties in because intro, outro, I think it works out. But then the hook comes in and then you have those weirded out panned vocals which sounds absolutely insane. I love it. It, it, it just sounds so great. The vocals or have a ton of effects on them like reverb delay and they're panning left to right constantly it sounds great the the second verse on this song is absolutely insane probably the best one on the ep you you get some really nice nt vocals and some lyrics about missing somebody you broke up with and he has some really hard-hitting lines the second half of this verse also has some really nice vocal layering on it which i really enjoy and then after that, the second hook uh, plays, and then the track closes out as well as the EP. It's just cause you think that I'm not enough. If you knew what I did for you, bring for seven online just so if you send a text and view it. Then tell me. Overall, this EP has a lot more good than bad, in my opinion. With five tracks, it's really short and really replayable, especially with the simplicity and nothing's really overwhelming. Uh, it's a really charming project. Uh, this is a really strong project from NTA. I only have a couple things that I would change about it, like maybe a bit less repetitive hooks and uh, maybe a generic or a corny line here and there, but I, I think he really did well. This EP shows a good bit of diversity in NT sound uh, with trap bangers like Not Enough and more emotional stuff like So Much For Forever. I, I, I absolutely cannot wait for NT's next project because this was really strong. I'm going to pull a Fantano right now with like the style of the score I'm going to give it. I'm feeling a light to decent 7 on this one. This was a really good uh, project. Uh, I'll link NT in the description. I'll link the EP in the description. You need to go check it out because this was really good. But yeah, thank you for watching. Yeah.